TV and today I've got your preferred 11 video for our home game against Bolton Wanderers. We've been on the comeback trail for the last couple of games. 3-2 uh, losses, two in a row and then the 2-2 two -two draw at the weekend. I'm just fed up with conceding goals to be honest so I want a team that's just going to blow the opposition away from the start of the game. I don't think we've been doing that enough, we've not been on the front foot. So yeah, I'm picking a team that's Probably a bit more attacking than what we're used to, uh, which sounds counterintuitive, but I'll explain as we go on. Uh, I posted this team on social media last week uh, after the game, and people seem to really like it. So if you followed me on Twitter, you've probably seen the team already, but I'll take you through it now. So let's see. In goal, I've gone for Jack Butland. Uh, maybe not had the best start to the season, but let's be honest, it's Jack Butland. He's got to be in goal. There's no arguments about that. Butland it is. Then I've gone for a back four of Edwards, Shawcross, Martin Zendi and Peters. Uh, Edwards, I want to see come in, uh, to be honest, after, after his game in the Cup. Uh, Martina, I'm not exactly convinced with. He doesn't seem the most athletic defender and he didn't have the best game uh, last time out. But if it's Martina, then never mind. Edwards, I prefer. Shawcross, for me, I know he's had a couple of games out and he needed those games out, in my opinion. But he's got to come back in. He'll have had a little bit of a mental break that I think he needed. Uh, and I want to see him come back in alongside Martin Zendi, who, again, probably hasn't had the best start in terms of form. But I think he's our best defender, so he's got to be in there, especially had Ashley Williams or anybody else. Uh, and then Eric Peters at the back. It could be an argument being made for Sam Klukas or somebody like that. Uh, but Peters hasn't been too bad of late, so... Yeah, I just want to see a familiar face in the back line pieces for me. And then I've gone for a wide diamond in midfield. So at the heart at the back, I've gone for Woods. Uh, captain does last time out and he's been fantastic ever since he signed. I think he's played that wheeling role really, really well. Uh, and I want to see him continue, so he's in there. Uh, right hand side, I've got Tom Ince again. Scored last couple of games. Luke's one of our good uh, attacking threats. Probably the one who's got the most flair out of the team, I'd say, at the moment. Uh, maybe apart from a certain Spanish someone. Uh, but yeah, Ince has got to be on the right side for me. Uh, I put a table on the left. Um, there's doubts over James McLean's fitness, so he could come back in. I know there's other people that could play at left midfield. Duke may be able to come back in. Klukas might be able to come in. Uh, but a table for me has got the pace. He's been playing all right as well. Uh, and yeah, I want to see... Edebo tries on the left. He's played there before in his career. Uh, so, yeah, and I, I want to see him stay in the team as well because in the attacking midfield role at the tip of this diamond, I've got Bojan uh, after his goal at the weekend. What a great header that was, by the way. Uh, for me, he's got to come into the team now. I've been saying it for weeks, and I think a few Stoke fans have as well. Uh, and I think this is a prime opportunity for him. He's not been playing, and they'll be tired like that there. And I think he'll be the one to orchestrate things in the middle where... We might not have that in the last couple of games with a phobe maybe being stranded up top a couple of times. Uh, yeah, Bojan at the tip of the diamond for me. And then up front, I've got the pairing of a phobe and Berahino, who, to be honest, are both in good goal scoring form. A phobe is our top goal scorer, no doubt about that. Berahino's got more goals for us in the last couple of weeks than he has done the rest of his entire Stoke City career, which was none. But my point remains that they're both in decent form and they both look like scoring goals. They're both working hard. They both, they both look like they're playing for the team. Uh, and I think having both of them up front together could be really deadly, especially at home, and especially with that midfield behind them. Woods protecting the back four, and then the, the rest of them pushing forward together with those two up front. We could blow away Bolton before the game has even really begun. Uh, that's my plan. That's what I'd like to happen. I'd like us to get on the front foot first, maybe score the first goal. Wouldn't that be nice? And then maybe just hold the lead. It's an adaptable formation. You could play other players anywhere you could push Bojan out wide bring a table back into the middle all sorts of things like that uh I'm sure Rowett will figure something out do I think he'll play this not sure I'm not sure whether he'd go for this quite unique system uh but we'll see and this is my preferred 11 anyway and this is what I really want to see us try so that's it that's the end of the video I hope that that's the formation that Rowett plays tomorrow and I hope that that's the players that play tomorrow Probably not going to be the case, but regardless, I hope we get a win anyway. We're absolutely due one after all the goals we've been scoring in the last couple of games, as long as we can keep a bit tighter at the back. 
Uh, but that's it. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave all that good stuff down below. Subscribe to Bear Pit TV, and I'll speak to you again soon. Thanks very much for watching.